Hello guys, um, welcome back to this brand new, uh, revival, well, not really revival, but remaster of Pikmin 3 level editor tutorials. So, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a very simple Pikmin 3 level edit, and which you can turn that into make making your own levels for later, so that's gonna be pretty fun. Um, first thing I wanna say is... Please don't get your expectations to, like very, very high for this game. We just started, you know, we're not really just started, but we are in the process of trying to figure out how this game works and stuff. It's very different from Pikmin 2. Nintendo has uh, stepped up their game and making anti, you know, anti-hacking uh, stuff. So basically, it's really hard to change stuff around, especially with the story mode because there's so many flags. The game really doesn't like it if you mess around with the code a lot and we haven't really edited the code that much we're only like doing simple generation edits texture edit, like stuff like that is possible you can change around like the item placement and story mode but just like the flag events is so difficult to deal with so yeah that's pretty much the gist of it like don't think of it as like another pikmin 2 but like think of it as like a pikmin 3 it's like it's a new thing like it's starting to come up but like, you know, we're working, we're doing as much as we can to, uh, you know, find how that this game works. But this is what we can do for now. And I'm going to show you how we can do these types of things. So basically, first things first, you need to get the copy of the game onto your computer. Like myself here, this is my Wii, Pikmin 3 Wii U copy. Now you can dump the Pikmin 3 from the Wii U or the Switch, doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't have the Switch version. Which I, well, I, I have the Switch game, but I never dumped the Switch version. I have the Wii U, my Wii U copy that I had since release, and I've dumped that onto my computer. So you can do that way, or you can find a copy somewhere, which I'm not going to show you how for legal reasons, but definitely if, uh, if you want to hack this game, you need, the, you need the game's files onto your computer. The second thing you need is basically the emulator to run the game. Uh, for the Wii U version, I use Simu emulator. It's uh, it's very simple to set up. Uh, it's not open source, so you can't do much, but you know it works. And but for the, if you're gonna use a Switch version, there is also Yuzu, which I know Colt uses. If you wanna know how to use Yuzu, uh, you can ask uh, my good friend Colt Walrog there. Shoutouts to him. So yeah, basically. Once you have your game all dumped on your computer, you have, uh, you're gonna have this, um, three folders here. Code, content, meta, all that stuff. We're only gonna focus on the content folder itself, because that's basically where all the files are in. So when you open content folder, we have all of these folders. We have AOC, which is the DLC. We have CMCMN, which is, you know, the main, you know, files, models, music, all that kind of things. And... Everything else under that is just the text files and the messages. Like if you want to edit messages, I can show you that later. But um, yeah, this is just all like the text for the different regions. It doesn't matter what um, what uh, what region the game is from. Like if you edit a file, it'll load onto another region just as fine. So basically, so the CMC MN folder is basically all the uh, the good stuff you want to edit. We're gonna we're gonna focus a lot on generator and. Uh, and the system you can also play around with the music like here in the audio folder this is sound effects and the stream is all background music so yeah if you want to make custom music I have one video of that uploaded a long time ago I might do a remake of that video soon as well but yeah all this is um is the background music besides the boss music and the mini boss music which I don't know why well maybe because it's a uh, Wait, no, it doesn't because the map, whatever. Okay, so audio. Uh, I don't really mess with camera, I don't mess with command, none of this. Corsark is a very interesting, very interesting how the game works in Corsark. Uh, I might go go over this uh, Corsark folder in a different video. But for now, we're just gonna go take a look at generator. Now you see all these folders is for each map that the generator file chooses to load what, you know, what um, layout. For the maps, like you know how there's a uh, those are uh, mission mode remixed 
stages of the story mode, like for battle enemies. We open map A, we have a we have the story mode gen file, and we have the battle enemies version that's in the update, so yeah. How do we open any of these? So before I get into any of that, we need to make a graphics pack. Now, making a graphics pack is very important. Uh, this is just a way that you can just load your files in easily, you don't replace anything, and you basically, you know, you don't screw up any of the game. You know, so in your emulator folder, like where you saved your emulator, like where it's installed and stuff, there should be a graphics pack folder. Um, for example, like if you are uh, on Simu, there's a graphics pack folder here. If you're using Yuzu for the Switch, um, I would look up a different video on that because I have not used Yuzu ever. So, so inside graphics packs, you want to go ahead and open up the graphics packs, download the graphics packs, and in here is where all your graphics packs or mod packs for any Wii U game you have. So here's my Mario Kart 8, here's my uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, here's Breath of the Wild, and I have a whole lot of Pikmin 3. <laughs> so, there is a way to make a graphics pack folder from scratch, but it's very easy if you just download like a Pikmin 3 mod and then just take it from there. So, for example, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to use the No HUD mod pack because it's not that big at all. So I'm gonna make a copy of the no HUD, and you can rename this to anything you want. Uh, make sure you keep Pikmin three underscore. That's very important. And then you can rename it to just whatever. So like, uh, for example, Louis or something. Louis Olimar mission pack or your mission pack title. So yeah, whatever. So we've made Pikmin three Louis. So let's go ahead up, open up Pikmin three Louis. And now we need to change this. But really, you don't even have to have a subfolder. You can just move everything back in. Whatever. What you need to have is the content and rules folder in there. Because in my exercise stories, they're just... You know, there's not another subfolder. You can just move it back. And it'll, it'll be fine. So, yeah. So, open up the rules text. Of the... The, the copy, the texture pack thing. Now you have this rules text now this rules text is already set up for all regions of pikmin 3 so you're good there you don't have to change title ids now you can change the name to what we gave uh the like the folder name so we named it louis so we're gonna rename everything of the old name to just louis or whatever you named your mission pack and description uh you can put anything for description say uh hi i'm louis or something yeah it doesn't matter now, save that, keep the version as 3, now you can go ahead and close your notepad, I don't want to update, goodbye. So yeah, now we have the Pikmin 3 Louis graphics pack, perfect. Uh, yeah, let me get rid of the, the old contents in there. Okay, so now, your Pikmin 3 Louis uh, should have a folder called content in it, so if it has a content folder if you copy another mission pack just delete whatever you had in there so first things first is we're going to copy the, the files so we're going to go to the original pikmin 3 game data files where you dumped now you just want to follow the same route as it is like the same uh, setup structure as it is in the uh, the game files itself so if you want to edit something in cmc mn make a new folder in your graphics pack called the same thing cmc mn all right now technically we're in the cmc mn folder of both areas but the graphics pack is empty obviously so we want to edit the generation file layout for the first mission mode level now go ahead and create a generator file sorry not file folder now inside that generator folder we see all these different folders like so which one is uh which map is which you're saying so we like we have Ms. one Ms. two like oh Ms. one is tropical forest Ms. two is uh, silver lake at first i thought that was the case but no Ms. one is indeed tropical forest but if you're unsure of what map is what i have a very very handy website it's called the pikmin 3 identifiers and this this website is going to be your best friend if you're going to hack this game like, this covers everything of the internal files, like, it tells you what is what. So if we scroll down 
to mission mode stages right here. We want to edit Tropical Forest, so we want to go ahead and take Ms. 1. So, you can go ahead and copy the Ms. 1 folder into your graphics packs. I'll open up Ms. 1. Now you have three SCS's archive files here. Now, if you try to open these normally, it's going to give you an error. You can't do that. What? Uh, you need a special tool, which is called Switch Toolbox. And this is going to be very useful when it comes to editing your graphics packs. Or, sorry, your, uh, your Pikmin 3 files. So, you can go ahead and download the Switch Toolbox from GitHub. It's made by KillZX Gaming. Shout out to him. So I'll, I can link this in the description below. So you can go ahead and download Switch Toolbox, extract it, and it's ready to go. You have your Poco Pogo 6 Techie. Poco is the Collect Treasure Bishop Mode um, generator file. We don't need Poco 6 because Poco 6 is the remix. We're not editing the remix. We're going to only edit Collect Treasure. We can keep Techies, which is battle enemies there for now. But if you want to play around with battle enemies, you can do it. It's basically the same way for both. Now on uh, your Switch Toolbox, so you can open up your Switch Toolbox, it's just a gray, gray box here. Take your Poco CSS file from your graphics packs, drag it into here. And now it's going to give us this drop down. See Poco is, has a plus sign, open that, and it has five text files of which, you know, a gen file you want to edit. Uh, normally default and one are the main ones you want to edit. You can edit plant too. But anyway, passing is a is a different text file, which you can I can show you guys how to edit later. And camera, I don't really touch it often unless this camera is buggy and I need to replace the camera. So yeah. So you want to go ahead and export raw data to file location for default. Do the same thing for the one. Uh, I'm gonna do the path just in case I need to, but I can get over path for another time. So you can minimize switch toolbox for now. Now we have the three text files on uh, on our graphics pack. Now you might be wondering, how do we edit these? We, can we just open a notepad and uh, and boom, everything is there, right? You can, you can do this, but how are you going to get the position right if you don't have like a map? Like say we have the pod, like the starting uh, mission pod. It shows the position here, but like it's going to be very hard to do that. So this is where another great tool comes to use. So we're going to open up the Discord. And inside the Hokute Hacker uh, Discord server, we have the Pikmin 3 Generators and Path Editor tool made by Yoshi2. That's under the Pikmin Tools channel. So if you're not in this Discord uh, server, you can go ahead and click the link in the description. And then you can enter the Discord server to download this tool. You can click the link. And we have the Pikmin 3 Gen download. So you want to go ahead and click this Pick Tools at one point. 2.03 zip I've already downloaded so I'm not gonna download it so go ahead and extract those and it's gonna be perfect alright so now once you have your uh, your tools extracted like for example here this is my uh, Wii U tools folder I put my pick tools plus path editor in here everything is extracted here and you see this little flower here you want to go ahead and click this little flower And this command block is gonna show up, which is okay. So don't be scared. Just let it do its thing. And this new window should pop up. This is the Pikmin 3 Gen tool, which is gonna be very, very useful when it comes to making your levels. So, under your geometry, you wanna load the map first. So go ahead and load BJMP. Now, you want to go ahead and find your Pikmin 3 route folder, which is near where you had the game files. And you want to open up the CMCN folder from before and go ahead and open up map. Now, the map is where all the uh, the map models are. So, like, you know, of the story mode stages, mission mode stages, all those. Uh, so, we're going to edit Tropical Forest, which is Ms. 1 that we saw from the, uh, the website, the Pikmin identifiers. And we're looking for the text folder. The text has the collision file of the map. So this is what's going to open up through the gen editors. So yeah, go ahead and click the Ms. 1 text. 
And now we have Tropical Forest. So look at that. We now have the map's uh, collision model in here. So let me just make this full screen. Now when you first load up, it's gonna be you know pretty empty until you load those uh, those text files. Um, you can open up the uh, the text files through this. Like you can load the archive file itself, but I I rather just export the text files for using Switch Toolbox. It's so much like it's more cleaner and it's less uh, less chance for something to break. So. So find your uh, mission pack. You want to, sorry, you want to go file and load the uh, the gen file. So go ahead and open up. Uh, go to your graphics pack that you just made. So for us, it's Pikmin 3 Louie. Go to content, CMCMN generator, Ms. One, and we can go ahead and open up any one. So go ahead and open up default. Now for me, it shows a bunch of. Uh, a bunch of objects here like you see uh, red pikmin you see the pod for you it's gonna show up like a bunch of uh white boxes like for example let me show you what it's gonna look like it's gonna show up like this i mean i've worked with this for my mod for, like quite some time but it's kind of hard to tell because if you're gonna put a gate and you get this thing you like you don't know how how long the gate is gonna like you know take to cover the area so this is why I would love for you guys to install this optional pack, but you don't have to, but it's very, very useful. So go back on Discord, go back to Hook of the Hacker, and you want to go to the Hacking Assets folder, uh, sorry, not folder, Hacking Assets channel, and you want to scroll up until you find a post by uh, Lazy Boy, the GOAT. And then you want to go ahead and download this Pikmin 3 Gen Editor Model Pack from Mega, the upload it onto Mega. So this tool is this is for um for the Gen Editor, and it's an object template pack which is perfect. Like it'll show you like the exact size, the exact the exact object that you're messing with. So you can save and download this um this model pack, and then you can just extract the models like if you open up the uh the the archive here it says object templates and resources folder just drag those into your gen editor folder that you extracted earlier you just drag these folders in here and it's gonna replace all those white boxes with the models of like everything else so it's so useful and you know big shout outs to lazy void to making that um, model pack so now it should look like this. It should look have some Pikmin. You should have some pods and stuff. And it's very, very useful. So the first thing you want to do is learn how the controls work for this thing. Um, the mouse wheel lets you like zoom in and out. You can hold, sorry, not that. You can hold the mouse wheel button to drag around to see where you want to go. Or you can move, press WASD to move, but it's kind of slow. Uh, there is a 3D view if you go under miscellaneous and 3D view You can hold right click to edit the camera WASD moves the camera and if you hold shift it goes faster and If you hold Q and E it increases the height of the camera, so Very very useful there if you want to you know adjust things properly Okay Sometimes I like to work with, uh, you know, bird's eye view, but if I need to fix something, and I use 3D view a lot, and it's very helpful. So the first things first, you're going to notice there's a start. Every mission mode level needs a start, otherwise the game will die. Uh, it needs a pod to function, and it needs Pikmin, otherwise you're going to get Pikmin extinction instantly, and that's not fun. So, yeah. No, for example, if you want to change a captain, like you know how it starts off with Alf in this uh, first level. What if we want to change it with, um, with Louis or Olimar? Uh, we're gonna add both of them. So go ahead and press Add Object. Now, when you imported those uh, those object templates, it should have shown something like inside your uh, object template folder. Uh, there should be like a Pikmin 3 
Pikmin 3 uh, category. If you don't, then you can go ahead and just like go back to the identifiers and just drop it in. Like find the name of the object and drop it in. But if you have the Pikmin 3 uh, category, go ahead and scroll down all the way till you see player. You want to have the player thing. And you can go ahead and press ab object. And go ahead and double click two times if you're adding two captains. So one, two. Now, thanks to the uh, object, uh, the object um, model pack, we see Alf's player model. And even though it shows Alf, it's going to be the other two. So don't worry. So go ahead and take one of them, like click one of them, press edit. Now, M color is the one we need to change, but we don't know what number is which you know, captain it is. So go back to the Pikmin 3 identifiers page and scroll down till you see leaders and Pikmin types. This little uh, table here is going to show you which number corresponds to which Pikmin model because the Pikmin and uh, leaders share the same color IDs when spawning them in. So we want to add Olimar and Louie. So we're going to change those IDs to 12 and 11. So we change M color 10, which is Charlie. We're going to make him 11. So now this one should be Louie. And we're going to change the other one to Olimar. All right. Now both of these should be changed. We can put them here. If you want to rotate them, you can drag this green circle. I'll make them face this way. Uh, we're just going to move these Pikmins out of the way. So yeah, now we have both captains here on the map. This Pikmin here, uh, let's change this Pikmin color to another color. If I remember, it's going to be a red. So yeah, we see M color 3 is a red Pikmin. Let's make him, let's make him to a purple Pikmin. One, one purple Pikmin. So it's going to be M color 1. And M leaf, it shows like what kind of a state, like what state uh, the Pikmin comes in. So if it's a zero, it starts off as a leaf. If you put in a one, it's going to be a bud. If you put in two, it's going to be a flower. Let's put it one. So it starts off as a bud. And you see this M num right here with the five. That means this five is gonna spawn on that location. Let's put in let's put in ten to spawn at that location. Save object data. You can close this, and this should be purple Pikmin. So let's move these purples over here and press ground object so they don't fall through the uh, the map and die. All right, you want to save this for now. We have changed some Pikmin, so which is pretty good. Now this is your default. You have changed your default, it's perfect. Now you want to open up the one file. So in the same spot as before, where you've opened up your default in the graphics pack, here is the one file. The one file mainly consists of enemies, treasures, obstacles, all that kind of stuff. So, for example, you want to add in a fiery blowhog or something. You can take like a, like a bulb orb here, which is called Kochapi, if you edit the object and you've just changed the name, that could work too, but I like to spawn in using the, uh, the category change. So if we change this guy's name to a uh, uh, Fiery Bullhog, which I know the name off to my, te my head is a uh, Fire Tank, save data, and we have a Fiery Bullhog here, so which is pretty cool. Hey buddy. But, for example, if you want an enemy to drop a treasure, uh, for example, we know this bulb orb here, he drops a bunch of cherries. So, we're gonna spawn in an enemy ourselves, like a brand new enemy, and then we're gonna copy the bulb orb's data to drop, um, roots onto the new enemy. So, and you can delete a lot of things, so, like, you can just get rid of these mushrooms. I'm just gonna get, get rid of those guys. So, from the top again, add object. Choose the category, Pikmin 3, or if you don't have Pikmin 3, you can make your own templates. Scroll down to a uh, random enemy. Um, we're going to make 
a Wally Wog spawn, so if we go back to the identifiers page and find which one is a Wally Wog. So if we do control find and we look up Wally Wog, it says it right here, yellow Wally Wog, it's just frog. So go ahead and go to the select object template, look for frog. There he is, there's the frog. Add object, click, boom. There's the Wally Wog, ready to go, perfect. We want to copy this Bulborb's data. See how it drops six cherries here? We can go ahead and copy this entire section. So from this bracket, above M drop, all the way down to this bracket, right next to M ter territory radius. Not exactly the next one over, but like skip one and then copy the like second last one. Now control C, close that. Go back to the Wallywog. Now from the same spot, one above M drop, I like this, copy the one that's in the back, control paste, and then you make sure you gotta make another line, have a bracket, Oop. put a bracket touching the end so it saves, and now we have the Swallywog that, drop is, that drops six cherries, but what if we wanted to make it drop two bananas? So we can change these sixes into twos. And, you know, and, you know, for simple time's sake, it's just going to be called banana. It's not going to going to be called anything else. But if you're unsure of what anything is called, this is going to help you a lot. Like you just look for the fruit section and banana is just banana. So, yeah. Save object data. And there you go. We have two new enemies. Fire Blowhog and the Wallywog. Now, let me go into this gate for a little bit. This gate is going to be... We're going to move this gate, but this gate has like 2,000 max life. You can increase the, the health of these gates as much as you want. Um, the higher you go, the longer it will take. So, yeah. We're going to move this gate a little bit up here. Something like this. Alright, cool. And something about bridges. For example, if you edit the object of the bridge, if you scroll down to init number, it says 10. So this is what's going to have the amount of pieces on the bridge before you get Pikmin to build it. So in this pile, we have, we have 50 pieces in that pile. And now we know that this bridge in total has 60 pieces. So if you change that 10 to 60, which I'll do right now, Then this bridge is going to be completely built right off the bat. It's going to be, you know, ready automatically. So we can delete these pieces. We don't need these. And it's already configured. Now these things here are the nuggets. The same thing with the, the nuggets and grapes. Well, mainly nuggets because grapes always defaults to 20. But if you want to put nuggets into the map, it says 30 here. But we can just change the 30 into 15. And then the number is what you want to look for. So now this pile is only going to have 15 instead of 30. Uh, one weird thing about um, these fake jelly floats. If you put an item in the M drop, it won't it won't function normally. Like it's gonna it's gonna make the game crash essentially. Uh, the only way for it to have an item inside, like say now this has rocks Pikmin. In the default file, there's rock pikmin that sit here that the jelly eats them right away. But if you want to put a treasure, just put it like a treasure underneath the, the jelly. And then it's going to absorb the treasure automatically. It's, it's, you don't have to put the uh, treasure in the M drop way like we did with the Wally Wug. It's not going to work that way. So, fun fact about the jellyfish thing. So, yeah. Uh, for example, say you're done making your, uh, your edits. You've done a lot of editing. You want to save. You want to test it. So make sure you save your map on both texts. Go back to Switch Toolbox, and you see the one in defaults, plus replace raw data. Go back to uh, the graphics pack you're gonna make. So for us, it's Louis, CMCMNN, Generator, Ms. One, and press the one that we just changed. Do the same thing for default. Very good. 
save compress file with vf0 that's very important always press yes with this and it's been saved so i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how quickly it is to choose which graphics packs you want so in your wii u uh, game list you right click on pikmin 3 edit graphics packs and you want to choose the the one we just made so he says louis here that's the one we've made hi i'm louis make sure that's checked and run your game very simple All right, so we're in Pikmin 3 now, so go ahead and choose Mission Mode. Go on Collect Treasure. And we've made changes to Tropical Forest. Now if you take a look on the gamepad view, you can see the purple dots there. Those are the purple Pikmin we've added. And go ahead and just start playing it. And look at that. Congratulations, you have just made your very first Pikmin 3 edit. We have Olimar, we have Louie. The bridge is completely built like we've made it to. We don't have to change anything else. And we also can see... Yep, those Nugget Pals are 15. That wall was moved, sees that everything has been working perfectly. Now let's go test our treasure drops. This is so cool, guys. Like, honestly, it's very, very easy. See, there's our Vary Blowhog. Hey, buddy. Time to die. Hey, guys. Look at this. Now you go ahead and make custom maps all you want until we wait for Pikmin 4. Now, if we kill this guy, this guy should be dropping two bananas. I forgot purples are absolute doo-doo in this game. Get him! And there's our two bananas. Look at that, guys. It's so simple. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this revamp tutorial of uh, how to make uh, levels. I hope it was a better, better instruction this time around. Uh, next time, I'm going to show you how to edit the timer, how to edit the score and how to change you know much more things so yeah keep on the lookout i'm gonna show you how to change treasure models as well i'm gonna go over pathing all that stuff so yeah please keep an eye out on that it's gonna be very very fun and i hope you guys enjoy making your pikmin 3 levels for me to play in the future so yeah thank you guys for watching i will see you in another episode i guess so yeah